How many of you have written um, unit tests after the fact? Some people do this and they think it's test driven development. Um, how much fun is it? <laughs> now notice the reaction. That was an interesting reaction. Of course it's not fun. Right? It's not fun to write unit tests after the fact. Why isn't it? Simple answer. You already know it works. You've tested it manually. Right? You've seen it with your eyes. You know it works. And now some process guy said, yeah, but you're supposed to write tests. And you kind of go, oh, well, all right, I'll write some tests. And it feels like make work. It feels like busy work. It just, it's bothersome. But you go ahead and you do it. All right, I'll write a test here. All right, yeah, all right, I'll test that thing. Okay. Oh, that one's hard to test. Inevitably, you come across the function that's hard to test. It's hard to test because you hadn't designed it to be testable. And now you face a dilemma. Uh, i got to change the design. Well, I saw it work. Never mind. And you walk away. And you leave a hole in the test suite. And if you're leaving holes in the test suite, everybody else is leaving holes in the test suite. And that means that when that little light turns green, you all kind of nod and go, yeah. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> if you write the test first, that can't happen. If you write the test first, first of all, it's fun. Because you haven't seen the code work yet. And every little test is this little proof that you can still write code that works. You write a little test, it fails, and then you go over here and you make it pass. Yeah! <laughs> you made another failure. Another way, yeah! And you get this little charge all the time. Yes, I can still write code that works. <laughs> I'm still a god. <laughs> Second, you cannot write the function that's hard to test. Because you wrote the test first. When you write the test first, you must design everything to be testable. You don't have any choice about it. Your first thought about the production code is, how do I make it testable? And there's another word for testable, decouple. That's how you make something testable, you decouple it. So the very act of writing the test first forces you into this heavily decoupled mode. You will decouple like crazy because of this, and that will simply improve the design of your system. You just get a better design. There's all these little side benefits. You, know, you aren't going to be in a debugger for the rest of your life. That will probably make you go a lot faster. You'll have all this low-level documentation. That will probably make you go a lot faster. You're going to design the system better. It's fun. That will probably make you go a lot faster. All these things will probably make you go a lot faster. And it, they more than make up for this funny business of writing the test first and all that stuff that you initially thought eh, it'd be slow and tedious and boring. More than makes up for that. And then, after all of that, you get this suite of tests that you trust with your life. And that suite of tests that you trust with your life solves so many other problems. You can clean the code fearlessly. Clean the code. You can manipulate the code. You can twist it any way you want. How many of you um, believe that design is really important? You've got to get the design right. Right? Books know. have been published about this. Right? We've got to get the design right. Why? Because we have to keep the code flexible and maintainable. Nothing makes code more flexible and maintainable than a suite of tests by a huge order of magnitude. You give me an application that is perfectly designed, beautifully designed, but there's no tests, I'll be afraid to modify it. I'll be afraid to touch it. It will rot. You give me an application that is badly designed, but it has a comprehensive suite of tests, I will improve the design. I will gradually make that design better and better, fearlessly, because I have that suite of tests. The suite of tests means much more than a good design. So to the extent that you are considering design important, multiply that by 10. 